Welcome to the Counseling Department's presentation for Senior Parent Night for the Class of 2021. Just like all other departments, the Counseling Department has been working hard to be able to meet all of your needs virtually. We understand that senior year is overwhelming, not just for students, but for parents as well. There is so much information to keep track of. We're going to walk you through a lot of information tonight, but we're also going to show you where you can find that information throughout the school year on the Counseling Department website. Here you can see the home page of the Counseling Department website. On the right, there are links directly to information for the classes of 2021, 22, 23, and 24. There is also a drop-down menu at the top right under the word More that will take you directly to the website for specifically the class of 2021. When you click on the class of 2021, you will see at the top a link to the ECHS Senior Class website. This is the site done by the senior sponsors. It includes all kinds of dates and deadlines for events throughout the school year, specifically for the Class of 2020. If you scroll down on the Counseling Department Class of 2021 page, you will find multiple links that you will need throughout the school year, such as requesting a letter of recommendation from your counselor, requesting your transcript be sent, looking for scholarships, information about HOPE, cap and gown information, a list of classes that qualify for HOPE rigor, and FAFSA. There are so many things that seniors need to do during their senior year. Tonight we're going to talk about senior meetings, creating a Georgia Futures account, college visits, applying to college, sending transcripts, selecting the correct admissions test, HOPE scholarship and HOPE grant, scholarships, letters of recommendation, and how to stay connected this year to everything that is going on. At the beginning of every school year, counselors start by meeting individually with each one of their seniors. This year we will be doing this a little bit different. An email has already been sent to seniors with a link to start their senior meeting. It's a Google form that asks for some basic information. After that Google form is received, each senior will receive a senior packet via email from their counselor. This packet will include their graduation check sheet, an unofficial transcript, their HOPE scholarship report, and these will also include their ECHS GPA, their class rank, their HOPE GPA, the amount of rigor classes they already have, and some basic senior information. If you or your senior have any questions after receiving this information, please email the student's counselor. You can also email the counselor a phone number and times that would be good to reach you, and counselors are very happy to reach out by phone. Why do we suggest that students create a Georgia Futures account? GeorgiaFutures.org is a website that was designed by the Georgia Department of Education. Through that website, students can explore careers, they can see their HOPE GPA, they can apply to Georgia colleges, they can send electronic transcripts to colleges inside the state of Georgia. There are links to the FAFSA, an application for HOPE, and there's free scholarship search engines for national and regional scholarships on Georgia Futures. College visits will also look different this year. Colleges have been working for years on their websites developing virtual campus tours so students don't have to visit in person and walk the campus. There are links on the East Coweta Counseling website directly to many colleges virtual admissions pages. You can also Google a college's name and admissions and look for their virtual visits. The probe fair will be starting virtual probe fairs October 5th and November 2nd. The East Coweta Counseling Department Facebook page will be highlighting different colleges each week, their contact information, and their admissions process. There is also a website called Campus Real, where students at the colleges are walking you through their own perspective of attending their college. 
They'll walk you through campus, show you their dorm room. Some of them will even walk you into their classes. And it is another great resource for students to get a feel of what a college looks like and feels like. There's also a lot of military information and contact information for recruiters on the Counseling Department website. Applying to college. Before you sit down to apply to college, it is very important that you gather all of your academic and personal information in one place, such as your social security number, your extracurricular activities, leadership experience, transcripts, etc. This will make it much easier to fill out the application. It will also make it easier to fill out scholarship applications later. Create a Georgia Futures account because you can apply directly to any college in the state of Georgia through that account. You want to register for the appropriate admissions tests. We'll be discussing that in a little bit. You want to check application deadlines. Every college has a different application deadline and you want to make sure you know when your deadlines are. When you are applying, it's very important that you read the directions. Each college has its own requirements. They will let you know exactly what they require and how they want you to submit those requirements. Most colleges require an application. They're almost all online. An application fee, an admission test score, unless it has been waived for this year, a transcript submitted directly from the high school, and some colleges require recommendations. There's a link on the Counseling Department website to request a transcript. It will take you to a Google form where you will choose what type of transcript you're asking for. You must be logged into your Coweta County account to have access to it. There are several different kinds of transcripts. An unofficial one is for your personal use, and seniors will get a copy of this emailed to them as part of their senior meeting. An official transcript is a transcript that will be sealed in an envelope and mailed to your house, if you are applying to an out-of-state college, this is the option you will choose unless in the application they tell you a different way they want you to send their transcript. Electronic transcripts can be sent to colleges in the state of Georgia through Georgia Futures. You can identify on the Google form which college you want to submit the request to. NCAA is also an option through this Google form. Some colleges use their own method, such as Common Application or Send.edu, for transcripts to be sent. It's important for you to read the application directions very clearly so you know exactly how they want you to send it. If they're using Common Application or Send.edu, you will simply enter your counselor's email address and a request will be sent directly to your counselor who can then upload your transcript to them directly. On the top right of the Counseling Department website, you will find a drop-down menu where you can choose testing information. Here you can find testing dates, links to register, and even test prep information. So how do you know what test you're supposed to take? Most four-year colleges require the ACT or the SAT. Some colleges have waived this requirement for the fall of 2021 due to COVID make sure that you check the admissions page of every college you are interested in applying to to know exactly what their requirement is specifically for the fall of 2021. Most technical schools require the Accuplacer and the military requires the ASVAB. What is HOPE Scholarship? HOPE Scholarship covers roughly 85% of tuition to any public Georgia college or university or a set amount to a private school inside the state of Georgia. Requirements to earn HOPE Scholarship, a 3.0 academic GPA, and a minimum of four rigor courses. A list of these classes is available on the Counseling Department website. Zell Miller Scholarship covers 100% of tuition to any public Georgia college or university and a set amount to a private school in the state of Georgia. Requirements to earn Zell Miller are a 3.7 academic GPA, four rigor courses, and you must qualify with the ACT or the SAT, either a 26 on the ACT or a 1200 on the SAT, and those test scores must be in one sitting. They are not super scored. HOPE grant is awarded to students attending a technical certification or diploma program in Georgia. The requirement is a high school diploma from a Georgia high school and it covers 100% of tuition to technical programs. 
how do you find your current HOPE GPA? You can find it through your Infinite Campus portal. Here's where the link is. Counselors will also be giving seniors a copy of their HOPE calculation breakdown during their senior meeting. These have been accessed directly from Georgia Futures, and students can access that directly themselves through their Georgia Futures account. How do you apply for HOPE in Zell Miller? You do this through either the FAFSA or the Georgia Student Finance Commission application. Both of these are available on Georgia Futures. Here's a screenshot of their homepage where you can see HOPE and state aid programs. You click this link, then click the HOPE and Zell Miller Scholarships link. There are links there that will take you directly to the FAFSA and the Georgia Student Finance Commission applications. The FAFSA will also serve as an application for federal grants and student loans, as well as HOPE and Zell Miller. Ben Meadows from the Georgia Student Finance Commission will be hosting a FAFSA web series. and More details will be sent to students' email addresses when we have those details. Probably the question we get most in the counseling office is, where do I find scholarships and how do I apply for scholarships? The biggest dollar amounts come from the colleges themselves. A lot of the deadlines for the large college scholarships, such as the presidential scholarships, have fall deadlines. We suggest that you start looking at the colleges you're interested in applying to now, look at their admissions pages, and look at their financial aid pages. See what you qualify for and what the requirements are. Some colleges will automatically apply you to any scholarships that you qualify for, while some require additional applications on your part. Scholarship search engines are great tools for searching for scholarships that you might qualify for. Several are posted on our website and also on Georgia Futures. Scholarships, like colleges, all have their own requirements and their own deadlines. As the school year progresses, more and more scholarships will become available and will be posted on our website. You can see the link here to local and regional scholarships. The Counseling Department posts every scholarship that comes across our desk right here on our website for students to have access to. Local scholarships are scholarships that are specifically for Coweta County students or for ECHS students. These applications will start to become available around December and deadlines usually run from January to March. We also get asked a lot about letters of recommendation. Some college and scholarship applications require a letter or letters of recommendation. However, not all of them do. Here are some tips. If a letter of recommendation is not asked for, don't submit one because it will not be read or considered. Give exactly what the application requires. For example, if it specifies a teacher recommendation, then ask a teacher. If there's a specific form to be filled out, give the form to the person you're asking. If an online application asks you to enter an email address for a teacher or counselor, reach out to that person and ask if he or she will be willing to complete an online recommendation for you. Almost all online recommendations ask you to submit an email address and then the teacher or counselor will log in, will receive an email to log in, and will either upload or submit a form. Give people time to write a letter of recommendation. Ask at least two weeks before the deadline. And don't assume that someone knows everything about you. Give the person you're asking a resume that tells more about you, your plans, and your extracurricular activities. Microsoft Word and Google both have resume templates to help you get started. There's also a link on the seniors page of the website to a recommendation request form that you can use to jot down things about your plans, your extracurricular activities, and that gives you some guided questions to help. Keep in mind, anything outside the classroom is an extracurricular. It does not have to be connected to school to be considered an extracurricular activity. It's always important to stay connected, but this year in particular, there are a lot of ways that we communicate information to you. There's a Twitter account, an Instagram account, a Remind account, the Counseling Department is on Facebook, the Counseling Department website, and the Senior Sponsors websites have lots of detailed information. Chief Allen does automated phone calls giving information. Check your Coweta Schools email every day, and homerooms are also giving a lot of announcements. 
Check the website for newly posted scholarships every two weeks in the fall and then weekly in the spring as more and more applications are available. Make it a point to stay connected and to stay in touch with East Coweta High School and the announcements. When you have questions throughout the school year, you can check the Counseling Department website for links to multiple things as well as announcements and then please feel free to reach out by phone to the Counseling Department or to your student's counselor. Here you can see the alphabetical breakdown of what counselors are assigned to what students. Please reach out to us with any questions that you have.